Just three games into this season, two and one Hampton has already equaled its win total from all of last season. Tonight comes a huge test at 3-0 North Hills. The Indians come in averaging 38 points per game. On two separate occasions in the first quarter, Hampton turned the ball over in North Hills territory. This strip and recovery by Chris Kopp turned into points for the Indians. Curtis Foskey cutting it back and heading to the end zone on a 23-yard touchdown run, 7-0 North Hills after one. It stayed that way until late in the second quarter. Number two, Tommy McDonough from two yards out, 14-0 Indians at the half. After a scoreless third, Hampton gets on the board early in the fourth. On a third and two, Ian Anderson rolling and hitting Michael Berarducci. 28-yard score, so the North Hills lead cut in half at 14-7. But less than two minutes later, the Indians answer. On a third and four, Dylan Pauling dancing his way through the defense on his way to a 56-yard touchdown run. So just like that, North Hills back up by 14-21-7. Then moments after that, Tommy McDonough's interception would just about seal it. He returns it to the Hampton 22, and North Hills cashes in again. Pauling hits Tyler Tomasic as the Indians open up a 28-7 lead and pull away to win 35-14. They had the ball in your territory in the first quarter. We're knocking on the door. You guys come up with a couple of turnovers and really held them off the entire night. I really thought the turnovers early, and even in the second half, we had a big interception. We're, we're a big difference maker in the game. It really was. Our kids, we preach it all the time, and they took the ball away a few more times than the other team did. Our guys have really bought into what we're selling right now, and it's it's a great feeling. We were feeling pretty good at halftime and came out and were able. We've been really good in the fourth quarter, so I'm proud of our guys. So North Hills impressively remains perfect on the season. The Indians now 4-0 as they sit all alone atop the WPIAL 5A Northern Conference. From Marmorelli Stadium, I'm Ryan Recker for Operation Football.